April the 14th. All things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world. Our life, our death, our things present, our things to come, all are yours, and ye are Christ's, and Christ is God's. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 21, 22, and 23. So we see yet another biblical reminder that Christ and God is not the same thing. All those terms that end in Al or Yah, you know, belonging to God. Emmanuel from Amnual, you know, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. Second Corinthians 6.10 Old friends, old scenes, will lovelier be, as more of heaven in each we see. Some softening gleam of love and prayer shall dawn on every cross and care. J. Keeble. Out of love and hatred, out of earnings and borrowings and lendings and losses, out of sickness and pain, out of wooing and worship, out of traveling and boating, and watching and caring, out of disgrace and contempt, comes our tuition in the serene and beautiful laws. Let him not slur his lesson. Let him learn it by heart. Let him endeavor exactly, bravely, and cheerfully to solve the problem of that life which is set before him, and this by punctual action, and not by promises or dreams, believing as in God in the presence and favor of the grandest Influences let him deserve that favor and learn how to receive and use it by fidelity also to the lower observances. R. W. Emerson One of the things that people often do is they act like, well, there's higher practices, and then they neglect the lower practices. Whether that be the case, whether those things being more exalted or not. 